expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events right here in Scotland County. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in Scotland County, it's on right here. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. We're on the road up in Scotland County in the Laurenburg area, and our host, we're right here now at Scotland High School. We're finding out about a program called Work Ready Community, and a lot of people work together to make this happen. That's right. They just received a certificate. We're going to find out a little bit about that, but it kind of incorporates what the community can do when they come together, private business owners, the high school and the community, all the things that they can do, and the certification stands for that. We're going to find out about all of that and more coming up in just a few minutes. Well, happy Wednesday to you. Let's look at your current temperatures across the area. It's pretty chilly in some inland areas. Sherall right now sitting at 63 degrees. But then go ahead and look at the coastal areas right along the Grand Strand in Myrtle Beach, checking in at 75 degrees right along the coast. So the Grand Strand and portions of the PD seeing those temperatures in the 70s, really just to the west there of 95, holding on to those 60s right now. But we will have temperatures increasing as we head through the afternoon, especially east of I-95 until that rain comes, though. Let's go ahead and look at a live look at live Doppler 15,000. We do have some showers over the Lumberton area approaching I-95 there in Scotland County. The bulk of precipitation has been sitting across the Charlotte viewing area for quite some time. We're really dry for right now, and that's how a lot of today is going to be, holding on to a lot of that cloud coverage. But looking at some of our sky cams, not everybody seeing that cloud coverage. Just those isolated showers as we approach the afternoon hours, turning a little bit more widely scattered as we head toward just about lunchtime by 2, 3 o'clock, holding on to some of those showers. Some of these showers could produce heavy downpours at times, even a rumble of thunder or a couple lightning strikes. That's nothing to rule out, but we won't see anything severe. As this cold front just kind of stalled across our area, well, really toward the Charleston viewing area, and then a warm front's going to push northward, which will allow for increasing temperatures, but not so much for today. Still just holding on to some of those pockets of rain, but also look at some areas cloudy, some areas sunny, and some areas seeing rain. So a mixed bag of weather as we head through the day. Go ahead and check out your Grand Strand seven day forecast though. 74 for your Wednesday, uh, for your Wednesday. 78 as we head through your Thursday. 81, it's going to be a very pleasant day on Friday as high pressure will overtake our area, bringing us plenty of sunshine. And the next big weather maker is going to be late on Saturday, heading through the day on Sunday and into Monday as well. That's when we'll see the best chance to see that measurable rainfall. Your inland seven day forecast across the PD and along the border belt. Widely scattered showers as we head through your Wednesday, turning more isolated if you even see any rain by Thursday. Check out your high temperature on Friday, though a high of 88 degrees with mostly sunny skies just a few degrees away from our record high of 93. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. On the road up in the Laurenburg, Scotland County area. Right now we're at Scotland High School. We're going to find out something now called a Work Ready Community. Now I want to know more about this myself. Absolutely, and they just received a certification, which is going to be great for this Work Ready Community. Jay, tell us a little bit, what does that mean, and what does it mean for the school and for the businesses around? Well, the Work Ready Community certification is from ACT. Uh, this is the same group that does the college testing. Okay. Um, so it's really important for our community because only about 20% of the counties in North Carolina have this certification. And what it means is the employers here support this uh, certification for all of the people in the county, helps them find jobs, and demonstrates the level of competence they have for applied math, reading for information, locating information, and different hard skills that we can measure. Okay. Yeah, now, what did you do, have to do to get the certification? What we had to do is we had to get 35 businesses to support this initiative. And then we also had to have a certain number of people that have taken the test in the county. So we started a program with the, the high school here about five years ago where we started testing all of the seniors uh, here. Every year that's provided free of charge through some different grants that are available for that. So we're building a picture of the workforce here 
this really helps for economic development to say that our workforce has these skills and having the certification means that not only the employees have that or the, the potential employees, but also the employers support this initiative. Right, and that's great for industries, for recruitment, I mean, from, Very good. from us. That's, that's fantastic. All right, we've got Felicia with us. Now, tell us a little bit what you do. You're the coordinator. Um, what, what is your job, and how has the high school helped with the effort in doing this? Well, what I do as far as is just make sure, and I look at to see exactly what seniors definitely qualify. Um, we have several different pathways here on campus, and by them, um, with their certification um, process, I have to see that if they took taken four courses um, as far as in this pathway to see exactly, you know, are they going to be qualified to take the work keys test. And what we try to do is prepare the students with uh, with, uh, with the help of Lumber River. Um, they give us a program called WIN, and then they can practice the reading, the math, and the locating. So what I do is try to make sure that our career and technical education um, teachers understand and know exactly what is expected um, and that they're teaching towards that expectation from our businesses. All right, now what is, uh, what is this work keys test? What is that? Yeah, the work keys test is where they actually have to take um, reading, for, reading for information, where they just have to read and find and locate information. As well with locating for information, they have to look at maps and different things in order to find the answer to the question. And then for applied mathematics, they have to have that normal, that, of course, their mathematical skills. And so what you can kind of do is come alongside the student, make sure they're prepared with the teachers in being able to complete these these requirements, basically. Ab absolutely, because with our curriculum that we have in, in, in CTE, um, we um, try to make sure that we look at what the work keys and what the local businesses needs, and then we try to shape our curriculum with that so then they can be prepared. All right, now Jay, this is a plus for recruitment for mm -hmm. businesses and industries, isn't it? It sure is. I mean, we use this at our company, Service yes. Thread. So all the jobs that we have at our company are profiled. So we make a picture of what the job requires from a math standpoint, a reading standpoint, and locating information. So when Felicia has students that have taken this test, we yeah. know that we can hire that student and they will have the ability to perform that job. So it's really good for yeah. employers and all the industrial employers now, 35 employers. You can look right employers. at it. You yeah. can look right at it and so see that is great. Mm -hmm. Sounds criteria. Like a great program. Yeah, well, thank awesome. Thank you all for taking it. And congrats that. on the certification. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. All right, stick around. We'll be back. This is not some place you have to be. This is a place that you want to be. You get that feeling when you come in that, wow, I'm home. People that live in neighborhoods, they come and say, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so well developed. Six o'clock this morning, I was in the fitness center. Yeah. We'll be tomorrow, walk in the days in between, swim. Enthusiasm, that's what they have here, enthusiasm. So come on down and join us. We'd love to have you. All right, we're at Nick's Pick Quick, and you guys, if you want anything, a snack, lunch, all kinds of stuff, this is the place to go. You can even sit down and eat your lunch, or you can pick it quick and run out the door. They've got fried chicken. And lots of sides. They've got pizza. They've got drinks. They've got nuts. You want an almond? No, thank you. They've got stuff for your car, too. And if you need a pick-me-up, they've got great coffee. Nick's Pick Quick. With 16 locations. One just around the corner from you. The Laurenburg Maxton Airport Industrial Park in Scotland County includes over 4,000 acres of prime industrial sites with almost 1,800 acres ready for industrial and commercial development. The industrial park offers full service infrastructure that includes a newly renovated runway, plus water, sewer, electric, and natural gas. So whether you're looking to build or simply expanding your current business, we invite you to come join the many businesses that already call the industrial park home. Call today. I have to go. It's Domino's. With Domino's Tracker, you know when to expect your pizza. Looking for this? You just have to be there to get it. Yeah. Order and track your pizza with Domino's Tracker. You're watching Carolina & Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. 
And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're on the road up here in the Laurenburg area, and right now we're visiting Scotland Healthcare, where we find out a lot every time we come up here. That's right. Right now we're talking about stroke technology, also the signs and symptoms, what you need to do if you think you're having a stroke, but as well as the things that they started a program, I think about a month ago. We're going to find out a little bit about that. First, Dr. Notarostic, tell us signs, symptoms, if you think you're having a stroke, what does that look like? Sure. I mean, um the most important thing before we even get into that is time. If you feel symptoms of, such as weakness on one side of the body, uh, slurred speech, difficulty finding the words that you want to say, um, those are things that should really keep people off that there may be something going on. Far too often people wait too long and we need to realize that you know, time is brain. The sooner you get here, the sooner we can do something for you. What does that time gap look like? We can start doing, as long as you get to us within three to five hours. Now that sounds like a lot of time, but yeah. when people ignore symptoms, all of a sudden that time frame really shrinks down. A lot of people do do that. Now y'all put in a new program now. And yes. you know, tell us a little bit about the program. Um, our Telestroke program went live about one month ago. Um, and the purpose of the program is to be able to care for the patients in our community right here at home. So um, we have this new technology. Um, we have neurologists that are able to come onto this television screen. We have critical care nurses based out of Charlotte. They're able to do their assessments and um, we're able to provide the treatment right here at home so they don't have to go so far away to get the treatment they now need. Now that's cool. You got a little camera up there that mm -hmm. can go down and check the patient out and do everything. Absolutely. And then in Charlotte area, they'll tell you what to do. And, and our, our, our local nurses actually perform the exams for the um, physicians and then we collaborate with our ER physician, our hospitalist team, and we're able to provide that treatment. That's really neat. Yeah, we just dialed in a second ago and Kimberly came up on the screen. There she is right <laughs> there. The camera moves. She can look and talk to all of us. And I mean, this is cutting edge it technology is. for you it guys. Is. It is. We're very proud. It okay. adds another layer of safety for us too, I think, because we can give them medicine, but now we have a neurologist right there standing next to me virtually mm -hmm. yeah. looking at the same patient. So we're getting the care that they need as quickly as possible. Well, no matter what kind of technology you have, you've got to have people that you know, symptoms come up. They've got to come. Yes. Right. If they don't do that. That's why we're here. They're not wasting our time. It's, you know, the time is brain. And if you're having symptoms, especially on one side of the body, headaches, high blood pressure, uh, numbness, weakness, trouble speaking, you know, seek it's, help. It's like problems you've never had before. Yes. And when you experience something like that, it's time to get something done. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, now, do you see this new technology you know, being a part of more different de departments and stuff? Is this something that's coming along? Yes, this um, specific technology for stroke, this is housewide, not just in our emergency center. But yes, we're, um, we're gonna continue to, I think this is the way of the future. Yep, I, I do too. Next step maybe uh, tele-intensive care too, so we can get more specialists to the bedside, more importantly, keeping patients here near, near home. Yes. Right, now, how many systems like that do you have in the hospital? We have three, um, uh -huh. three carts, three stroke carts, two in the emergency center and one in our ICU. Okay, and now you just got bumped up to a different position, right? Yes. What are you doing now? You're I'm, not in the ER anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm director of ICU now, and we're still collaborating with the emergency center. So Fantastic. Congratulations. Right. I Thank think you. this is such a neat program, and I think technology is just improving every day. Yep. Yeah. You know, back when I grew up, you know, the doctor came by to see us. That's been, long, <laughs> that's been a long time ago. I'll still come see you, Cecil. <laughs> y'all, thank you so thank much. Thank y'all so much. Very, very thank cool. You. We'll be back. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. I have to go. It's Domino's. With Domino's Tracker, you know when to expect your pizza. Looking for this? You just have to be there to get it. Yeah. Order and track your pizza with Domino's Tracker. Looking for a wonderful shopping experience? Then shop downtown Laurenburg. Hungry? Visit 215 on Main for a quick meal. Shirt Tales specializes in personalized garments for school, churches, clubs, and more. Find the perfect tuxedo rental and more at Harley's Tuxedo and Gifts. From trendy to obscure, you can find the perfect gift at Scotland Bling. If it's happening in Scotland County, you'll hear it first on 95.1, your hometown radio, WLNC. Shop downtown Laurenburg. 
Whether you're a local or on your way home from the beach, stop in at exit 184 Laurenburg. Feeling hungry? Then stop in for a quick bite at the Dog House Express. Order up a signature northern, southern, or hand-dipped corn dog. Need to get your car serviced? Then look no further than Haney's Tire and Recapping Service. Once you try us, we're sure you'll be back for more. And if you need a vehicle, stop in at Scotland Motors. You'll find over 400 pre-owned vehicles, and remember, go look at the rest, then come buy from the best. The Laurenburg Maxton Airport Industrial Park in Scotland County includes over 4,000 acres of prime industrial sites with almost 1,800 acres ready for industrial and commercial development. The industrial park offers full-service infrastructure that includes a newly renovated runway, plus water, sewer, electric, and natural gas. So whether you're looking to build or simply expanding your current business, we invite you to come join the many businesses that already call the industrial park home. Call today. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're right here at Scotland High School and we're talking Special Olympics. I've got Carol and a bunch of other friends with us. Carol, you are the local coordinator for Special Olympics in Scotland County. I am. Tell us what that means and what you're looking forward to. It's coming up, right? Yeah, our games are, um, our spring games are May 2nd, and that's a Tuesday morning. And uh, we've got about 160 athletes this year that will be competing out here. And uh, we're looking for volunteers, and the athletes have been practicing and looking for a good event. Okay, and so now being a local coordinator, what does that mean? That, that's a lot of work. You didn't start last week, did you? No, about three months ago or okay. so. But all year long, I mean, you're keeping up with paperwork and not. The, all the athletes have to get um, physicals, and they have training, and that what our coaches do, and um, prepare for the games. Lots of paperwork and a lot of volunteers. We use over 200 volunteers on the day of the game, so all it's right, a really a community event. Where's it going to take place Where's it going to take place Right now? here. Tell them where. Pate Stadium. Oh, Pate okay. Stadium. Pate Stadium. That's <laughs> Scotland High School. That's uh, Scotland High School. Okay, yeah. now I also have one of the athletes with us. They are at the Torch Runners. We have Shelby and Shelton. This is Shelton, right? Yes, ma'am. And Shelby, the Torch Runners. How long have you been competing and running? About nine years. About your, and, that, and that's for both of you guys? Yes, ma'am. All right, very cool. And I'm, I'm glad I got their names right. I was concerned <laughs> about that for a second. Year. You seniors. guys are seniors, so this is your last time to run. And, I mean, you're going to be competing hard, right? Yes, ma'am. Staying is 21. Fantastic. I love it. All right. See you soon. All right. Over here with me now, I've got Larry Lee. And uh, now, Larry, what what are you be doing? You coaching and putting them all together? Or well, how are you doing? I'm the adaptive physical education specialist for right. the county. Uh huh. And what I do during the when the time comes is I go out and test them all so that when we put them in heats, kids are running with competitive times or whatever. We don't want somebody running 100 meters in 11 seconds mm -hmm. and somebody running in 50 seconds or whatever. So. Well, I go out and test them all in advance and submit that information and then they have people at the central office that put them in heats and so forth. But I work with these kids most of the time all year long. So you know what they can do then? Right, pretty much. I know what they can do. So that's going to be an exciting event. Though, it is, it? it is. It's, ex it's exciting to do because the events are, we have kind of modified events. We have shorter races and softball throws and standing long jumps and we have the 100 meters, the shot put and the running long jump for the more advanced athletes. All right, I'm going to reach over here to Adam. He said he wasn't talking, though. You said you were here for what reason? Basically, I'm just here to look pretty. See, so. I thought that was what the man was going to tell me. <laughs> now, you're one of the coaches, right? Yes, sir. I actually help set up the events, and I'll assist Larry and Miss Nichols in any way I can to Fantastic. help everything get, get smoothly ran. All right, how long have you been working with This them? is my second year doing it, but I volunteered years ago um, and just enjoyed the, the, the – time out here with the kids and being able to watch all them participate in their events. It's rewarding, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's That's great, some... great, great time and great smiles and laughter going on all the time. All right, so you and Larry work together pretty good. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Fantastic. Right. I've been doing it a long time. You've been doing a long time. It's about, about 12, four 12, years? 12 or 13. <laughs> a long time. All right. all right, let me go one more time. Adam, you're here for what reason? Just to look pretty. Oh, I, I just can't. had to ask him that one more time. <laughs> all right, just to see all if right, gonna ask all right Carol, that. tell me you've got a couple more things you want to talk I about. I want to thank the community, and we have so much support from the school system to United Way, and that um, the foundation offers physicals free for all of our athletes, and you know over 200 volunteers on the day of the games. I mean, it's a great, great event. So um, yeah, really, always really need really volunteers, the, always need the sponsors. The yeah, oh. absolutely. Everybody, yep. come out and thank support you. Special Olympics. I'm sure you'll be hearing from us again about this event coming out May 2nd. Right? Correct. All right. We'll see you then. 
Whether you're a local or on your way home from the beach, stop in at Exit 184 Laurenburg. Feeling hungry? Then stop in for a quick bite at the Dog House Express. Order up a signature northern, southern, or hand-dipped corn dog. Need to get your car serviced? Then look no further than Haney's Tire and Recapping Service. Once you try us, we're sure you'll be back for more. And if you need a vehicle, stop in at Scotland Motors. You'll find over 400 pre-owned vehicles, and remember, go look at the rest, then come buy from the best. All right, we're at Nick's Pick Quick, and you guys, if you want anything, a snack, lunch, all kinds of stuff, this is the place to go. You can even sit down and eat your lunch, or you can pick it quick and run out the door. They've got fried chicken. And lots of sides. They've got pizza. They've got drinks. They've got nuts. You want an almond? No, thank you. They've got stuff for your car, too. And if you need a pick-me-up, they've got great coffee. Nick's Pick Quick. With 16 locations. One just around the corner from you. Looking for a wonderful shopping experience? Then shop downtown Laurenburg. Hungry? Visit 215 on Main for a quick meal. Shirt Tales specializes in personalized garments for school, churches, clubs, and more. Find the perfect tuxedo rental and more at Harley's Tuxedo and Gifts. From trendy to obscure, you can find the perfect gift at Scotland Bling. If it's happening in Scotland County, you'll hear it first on 95.1, your hometown radio, WLNC. Shop downtown Laurenburg. Looking for a wonderful shopping experience? Then shop downtown Laurenburg. Hungry? Visit 215 on Main for a quick meal. Shirt Tales specializes in personalized garments for school, churches, clubs, and more. Find the perfect tuxedo rental and more at Harley's Tuxedo and Gifts. From trendy to obscure, you can find the perfect gift at Scotland Bling. If it's happening in Scotland County, you'll hear it first on 95.1, your hometown radio, WLNC. Shop downtown Laurenburg. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're right downtown in Laurenburg today on the road. And now we're visiting the Scotland County Arts Council. They've got something coming up called the Spring Fest. That's right. Spring Fest is just over a week away, and I've got Aaron with me to tell us all about it. Aaron, what is Spring Fest? Well, Spring Fest is our very first attempt at using the arts to bring people downtown for a full day of activities. We're really lucky to have the art garden here um, that the city of Laurenburg had put in. And so we dedicated it last year and Spring Fest this year will be a reveal of new sculptures, um, a chance to meet the artists and the people behind those sculptures, and then a full day of activities revolving around the arts and community. So a lot happening downtown in the area. Yes. What's going to be going on? What's some of the other events happening? We're going to have a chalk art contest so that people can come in, cool. decorate a city square, um, from kids all the way to adults, teams, businesses, anything. Um, we'll have a People's Choice Award for that. We're gonna have a maker's market with vendors. There's gonna be food. There's gonna be a full day of live music on the stage in the art garden. We'll have the Bold Face Liars Showdown, which is a storytelling exhibition <laughs> here at the Art Center. The biggest lie. Okay. That's, that's right. That's a good one. And then we finish the day with an evening concert here at the Art Center as well. Wow. So just that's a full day of celebrating our community and the arts and supporting our downtown. Very cool. And so you're, that art garden down there, it's one of my favorite little spots right here. Um, you said there's going to be some new sculptures that are in there that are going to be unveiled? Yes, or? they're going to be switching out the sculptures um, next week. And so we'll reveal those to the public uh, at the at the fest. At the and fest. Um, the artists who are behind them will be there to talk about them, what inspired them. Uh, where they came up with the ideas. Very oh, cool. That sounds exciting. Yeah. What else is going on now with the Art Council? What else do you have going on? We have a lot going on. Um, besides the Spring Fest, we just finished our local talent show. Um, May looks at a new concert. Um, Jamie Laval is coming to the Arts Council, who mixes storytelling and music. And then in June, we start our art camps, some more adult programming, and we have a puppet company coming from New York City to bring um, workshops and performances here for our community. Wow. Spring and summer are going to be exciting. Lots of stuff. We have a lot going on. Coming up. Yeah, Spring Fest. Tell me, um, what time does it start? Do people need to get tickets for anything? How does this work? Uh, most of the daytime activities are free and open to the public. The Boldface Liar Showdown is a ticketed event, and the evening concert is a ticketed event. Um, we'd like people to pre-register for the chalk art because we'd like to supply 
all the chalk for everybody so people aren't running around trying to look for supplies. All right, how can they do that? They can call the Art Center, um, they can call the City of Laurenburg for more information, or they can visit our website, storyartcenter.org. So cool. arts is very much alive here in the Laurenburg area right now. We're focusing on that as a way to revitalize our downtown and to bring people here. It's well, it should bring in a lot it. of people now. I mean, talking about the fest. Now, this is what annual the spring of it? Is this your first one? This is our first it's one. Our first one, mm -hmm. okay. And now this is going to be a success, so you're going to have to do them again. You know that. Absolutely. We plan on it being an annual event. Bring in a lot of things and also probably learn a lot from it as yes. well, so next year can be even better. That's, That's right. awesome. What a great way to bring the community into downtown and into Main Street. And I Very think cool. it's great to bring in arts down because a lot of little small communities forget about the arts. Yeah. And right. uh, you have really brought it back to life here. And I tell you, that's going to be great for you. And I think the fest is going to be a big deal. Well, we hope so. And we hope to see everybody out there. Fantastic. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Check out Spring Fest coming up in just over a week. We'll see you in a minute. All right. We're at Nick's Pick Quick. And you guys, if you want anything, a snack, lunch, all kinds of stuff, this is the place to go. You can even sit down and eat your lunch, or you can pick it quick and run out the door. They've got fried chicken. And lots of sides. They've got pizza. They've got drinks. They've got nuts. You want an almond? No, thank you. They've got stuff for your car, too. And if you need a pick-me-up, they've got great coffee. Nick's Pick Quick. With 16 locations. One just around the corner from you. I have to go. It's Domino's. With Domino's Tracker, you know when to expect your pizza. Looking for this? You just have to be there to get it. Yeah. Order and track your pizza with Domino's Tracker. The Laurenburg Maxton Airport Industrial Park in Scotland County includes over 4,000 acres of prime industrial sites with almost 1,800 acres ready for industrial and commercial development. The industrial park offers full-service infrastructure that includes a newly renovated runway, plus water, sewer, electric, and natural gas. So whether you're looking to build or simply expanding your current business, we invite you to come join the many businesses that already call the industrial park home. Call today. This is not some place you have to be. This is a place that you want to be. You get that feeling when you come in that, wow, I'm home. People that live in neighborhoods, they come and say, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so well developed. Six o'clock this morning, I was in the fitness center. We'll be tomorrow, walk in the days in between, swim. Enthusiasm, that's what they have here, enthusiasm. So come on down and join us. We'd love to have you. You're watching Carolina & Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Hey everybody, we've had a great show here today on the road in Scotland County. Found out all kinds of cool things. Went over to the hospital, talked about stroke technology. That is cutting edge edge technology. That's pretty cool. You better believe it is. Also, we talked about Special Olympics here at the high school. All kinds of interesting things today on the show. And we thank you so much for watching. And guess what? Tell me. We'll be back next week and we'll do it all over again. We sure will. We'll see you then. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW20.